come and see. That was the simple invitation that the angel extended to the women there. Don't just take my word for it. Go on in the tomb and see that he is not there. And they approached and they took a, they took a look inside and they saw no body of, of Jesus, no sign of Jesus' body. They saw the burial cloth there and the face covering, but no sign of Jesus. Now, there are a number of ways in which we, too, are invited to come and see. Come and see if the grave of Jesus is empty. This really is the central claim of Christianity, by the way. If Jesus came back to life, then it's all true. If he didn't, then it's all a sham. And so if you're here this morning and you're just a little bit curious about Christianity or even skeptical about about church or about the faith or anything like that, then this is a good invitation for you. And if you are a full-on committed Christian and have been for a long time, well, it's still a good invitation for you too because I know we can all struggle with our doubts once in a while. Come and see. Come examine the claims that are made here in the scriptures. And I know that there are a number of things that we can look at, but this biblical account itself presents us with plenty of reason to believe that it actually happened. Starting with the fact that the very first eyewitnesses to the risen Lord were women. In a time when women weren't even allowed to testify in the court of law because they weren't credible in that culture. In fact, about a hundred years later, there was a Greek philosopher by the name of Celsus who uh, was an enemy of Christianity. He said, no, this is ridiculous. It couldn't have happened. And he gave all sorts of reasons to reject the resurrection. And among uh, his reasons that were most convincing to the people of, of the time was the fact that all of this was based on the testimony of women, and he said, women are too hysterical to be believed. To which I say two things. Uh, First of all, the women aren't the ones in the story who uh, faint because they're so afraid of the angel. That was those manly soldiers. (laughs) But also, wouldn't that go to show that this is actually how it happened? Because if the gospel writers were just simply making this up, then why would they stake all of the credibility of the story on the believability of the the women? If they were making it up, they would have had men be the first witnesses in a culture where where a woman's testimony wasn't taken for what it was and wasn't believed. And so the only reason the gospel writers would say that the women were at the tomb first and were the first to see the risen Lord is if it actually happened that way. Or you could look at the fact that uh, Christ's body is not in the tomb, but the burial cloths still are. If somebody is going to come and take the body out, a body that's been in there for three days, they're going to want to keep that thing under wraps. What, with the, the smell and everything else and just the ease of carrying it and transporting it? If thieves came to take the body of Jesus, they would have taken the burial cloths as well. Or you could look at the fact that the disciples didn't even seem to to have in their minds that Jesus might, might have come back, come back from the dead. There, if this was just a conspiracy among Christ's friends, then why are they locked in a room terrified about what's going to happen next? And then afterward, when they go out and, and spread this message and they go tell everybody that Jesus is alive, they didn't gain any fame or notoriety. They didn't become rich and famous. They were persecuted and almost every last one of them was killed for making that claim. Eleven men, almost all of them tortured to the point of death, all did so because they really believed that Jesus came back from life, because they actually saw him. Because they saw him alive and well as if nothing had ever happened. They had nothing to gain by doing that and everything to lose. Again, there are other things that we could say, but the resurrection of Jesus is the central claim of Christianity. And so if you're skeptical about the faith, we need to start at the empty tomb and come up with an explanation of what had happened. Come and see that it really is empty and that Jesus really did rise from the dead. Come and see the place where he lay. That was the simple invitation that the angel gave to the, the women there that this, uh, there this morning. 